Good evening, Commissioner. Good evening, Executive Director. Good evening to all of you. I don't think it's an understatement to say that to have developed the most comprehensive chemicals data place in the world in just 10 years is an incredible achievement, of which everyone at ECHA should be very, very proud. Of course, it's also estimated that REACH now delivers long-term health and environmental benefits worth over 100 billion euros. It's clear that whilst today is cause for celebration, it's not an excuse for complacency. Forget the next 10 years, the next year will bring a number of complex challenges, including the 2018 registration deadline, Brexit, dare I mention it, ongoing work improving the quality of submission dossiers and new initiatives like the work on poison centres. I mentioned Brexit because naturally as a UK MEP I support the UK's continuing participation in REACH and thus its long-term collaboration with ECHA as part of whatever future relationship is agreed. REACH has long had its critics from all groups of stakeholders, but now when we are faced with the option of building something new in the UK, I think we're finally in a position to really acknowledge and appreciate the work of REACH and ECHA. Brexit aside, ECHA's future looks increasingly international. The possibility that other non-EU and non-EEA countries might participate or pay for access is one way, in one way or another, looks increasingly likely as ECHA continues to develop its activities and its expertise, including all your work in emerging issues with significant public interest like nanomaterials, endocrine disruptors, I could go on. Such interest in your work is a testament to the added value that ECHA brings. It is much more than merely the agency implementing REACH, CLP and biocides. I'm so very sorry not to have been able to participate in this afternoon's conference or this evening's festivities. I hope that you had a productive afternoon and go on, have a wonderful evening tonight.